Hello YouTube. This is Cyan Civilian. In this video we are going to show you, how to make a simple beam with distributed load, and how to calculate the reactions. And this time we are going to use Sophistics Sophie Plus X, 2018's version. In the beginning, in the Sophie Plus AutoCAD extension, we clicked create system where we had to define it. First we chose the Euro code 2, European norm, then we set up the coordinate system, to 3D FEA. Then we adjusted the orientation of the dead load. And we changed the group divisor to 1 million, and at the unit set, we chose standard. Then on the left in the Sofa Plus extension, we defined the materials, that is, the concrete and the reinforcement steel. When we finished defining the materials we started defining the cross section. We went for a rectangular beam, which is wide half a meter and is high one meter. After completing the overall setup, we started drawing by clicking on structural elements, pick the line command and draw the length of the beam. As you can see on the screen footage, after finishing with the drawing, we set up the beam supports. We continued, with defining the loads. Again, on the left side, in the Sophie Plus extension, we selected the load case manager, and we created the loads that are going to load our beam down. The load we chose is line load through the whole beam with intensity of 5 kN per meter. After setting up the load, in the Sofa Plus extension, we clicked on export, which exported the DWG file to Sophistics Teddy Text Editor. Then again, through the Sofa Plus extension, we opened the Teddy Text Editor. There we created the new file and ran the file. By clicking on the Execute Immediately button, Sophistic did its job by calculating the reactions of the beam. With the visualization options Sophistic is providing, we can see how the load is deforming the beam.
And again, thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.